Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. CBS Sports' Sam Quinn, you know, draws up a proposal, a hypothetical proposal that would send Draymond Green to the Mavericks for Tim Hardaway, Lively, and Lighty, and a first-round pick. And this might be a great thing for Draymond Green and the Mavericks because maybe he just needs a new scenery. You know, he's a champion. He's a veteran in Golden State. And because of his cachet and what he have done on the court in Golden State, this allows him to behave the way he do because he knows they need him. And he's a champion, a four-time champion. So maybe he needs to go somewhere else. Maybe he needs a new scenery. And I don't know if he's going to change his ways if they acquire him. Will he finally stop doing the nonsense, all his antics, you know, starting drama, putting his hands on other players? Currently, Draymond Green is suspended indefinitely by the NBA for his last madness when he knocked out Nurkic. He's now suspended indefinitely. And now the question is, are the Golden State Warriors willing to trade Draymond Green? Maybe it's time they let him go. What's crazy about this whole situation is with the Jordan Poole incident when he knocked out Jordan Poole, I thought they was going to trade him. You know, his contract was elapsing and I swore this was Draymond's final year as a Warrior. And they turned around and gave him the bag, $100 million. So they turned around and gave him a new contract. And ever since he got paid, the man hasn't been playing any basketball beyond putting his hands on other players. That's all Draymond's been doing. Is fighting. Forget about basketball and trying to win another championship. So he's been out here just thugging and bugging, fighting. Steph Curry is out here frustrated because Draymond is always getting into drama. Klay Thompson is not playing like himself. Andrew Wiggins, I don't know what happened to him. And the entire Warriors system is just all jacked up right now, man. And they're struggling. And I don't think they're going to win another chip. The NBA landscape has changed drastically. New teams have emerged, and Draymond has just been acting a fool, so maybe he needs a new scenery. Maybe he needs to be traded to a new team. I thought it would have been gone once the Jordan Poole incident happened, but somehow they decided, you know what, let's ship Jordan Poole out of town and keep Draymond. And that might have been the biggest mistake they have made. Poole haven't been playing well ever since he went to Washington. He haven't been playing well. Everybody thought when Poole got to Washington, you know, he would have elevated his game. He would have been an all-star, etc. But that haven't been the case. Jordan Poole's game have regressed. He haven't been playing up to par. And that's crazy because now you have more minutes. You know, you're the man in Washington alongside Kuzma. And he haven't been playing up to par. And Draymond Green, on the other hand, he got paid. And all he's been doing is fighting. Knocking people out and choking people. So maybe he just needs a new scenery. Maybe they made a mistake when they traded Jordan Poole and kept Draymond. I swore Draymond would have been out of there. But the Warriors decided, you know what, we're going to keep Draymond. Understandably, he is a system. He is a big part of their whole system. He's their defensive leader. He's their aggressor. He frees up Steph Curry setting screens and picks. He's a big part of their system and why it works. But sometimes you got to revamp and start over. And after the Jordan Poole incident, maybe they should have traded Draymond, which I thought that was the case. I thought he would have been gone, maybe go to Lakers to join LeBron or something. But they somehow decided, let's give this man $100 million. And he haven't lived up to his contract yet. He haven't lived up to it. So everybody thought or most people thought Draymond Green would have been out of Golden State once his contract was up. They gave this man the bag, they paid him, and he haven't delivered. This man has yet to deliver. All he's been doing is fighting, creating drama, causing chaos, and that's not good for the team, the Warriors, that's not good for the NBA. And now he's suspended indefinitely from his last incident where he decided he want to knock out Nurkic after he just got in trouble for choking Rudy Gobert. Draymond is out of control, man, and it makes you think. Did the Warriors make a big mistake by trading Jordan Poole instead of letting Draymond Green walk? Maybe they should have let Draymond Green go his own way once his contract expired. They probably should have done that because now Poole is not ascending. Poole is in Washington and he's not really doing much. And that's crazy because now you have way more minutes 
more playing time. The ball is in your hands half the time. And he's just not playing up the par. And Draymond Green, he's more concerned about fighting than actually playing basketball. And the Warriors are struggling. Steph Curry frustrated over here kicking chairs. And he's frustrated. Klay Thompson is a shell of himself. Andrew Wiggins is missing. I don't know what happened to him. They won the championship and you would think Andrew Wiggins would have gotten better. But instead, Andrew Wiggins has regressed. Klay Thompson is deteriorating, you know, because of all the injuries. He's just not the same player. And it's just Steph Curry by himself on the island because Draymond Green is busy fighting. So now the NBA has suspended Draymond indefinitely. So CBS Sports' Sam Quinn proposed that the Warriors trade Draymond for Derek Lively, Tim Hardaway Jr., Lighty, and a protected first-round pick. I don't know if Draymond would be a good fit for the Mavericks. And when I say fit, I mean basically, is he going to change? Who's going to check Draymond if he went to Dallas? Luka can't check Draymond. I'm not saying he can't, but is Luka somebody who's going to speak up when Draymond start doing his madness? Draymond is a four-time champion. And even though Luka is a star of the team, is he willing to step in and say, yo, listen, if Draymond goes to Dallas, would he change his antics? Would he change his ways? And truthfully, I'm not giving up Tim Hardaway Jr. for Draymond and a first round pick. I'm sorry, not doing it. I'm not going to give up Tim Hardaway Jr. and a first round pick for Draymond to do what? What is he going to give me? I don't know if he's going to play basketball or he's going to be busy choking people and fighting. I can't count on Draymond. So for me personally, no, I wouldn't do that trade. But I do feel like the Warriors need to start a new era. They need to start over, man. Clay Thompson is not the same. Draymond don't want to play basketball. He's more concerned with fighting. Andrew Wiggins, I don't know what happened to him. And the Warriors just need to blow it up, man. It's unfortunate Steph is older and, and I don't think he have the time needed to start over, but they are not going anywhere. The team needs to be rebuilt. You could keep Steph, trade Clay Thompson, trade Draymond Green, keep Wiggins. You know, you have a few young pieces over there and just start rebuilding, man, because they're not going anywhere. And if Draymond is doing what he's doing, you know, the antics, Clay Thompson is not performing. You can't count on him. You can't count on Wiggins. And what are we doing? The team is not going anywhere. So truthfully, I would just blow it up, start revamping, you know, start building for the future. You had a great run. And that's that. But yeah, man, let me know what your thoughts are below. You know, would you trade Draymond? Should they have kept Jordan Poole? Was it a mistake when they traded Poole for Draymond? Let me know your thoughts below. And as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.